make sure you have these books always on hand, folks. We really appreciate it if you do. And we're going to get started. Croutons, which we're going to make from scratch. Preheat your oven, 400 degrees, folks. It's just a small amount of croutons. So I'm going to use my toaster oven, which I brought out for this occasion in our family. We call them croutons. <laughs> Let's make some croutons. So get a bowl that we're going to uh, toss the bread cubes in. Once they're oiled and seasoned, we're going to go through all this together. You know what? Any bread will do. I have some focaccia bread. You can do a sourdough loaf. If you want to do a multigrain or a whole wheat sandwich bread, whatever. It doesn't really matter. What we're looking for is four cups of half inch bread cubes. So what I do is I get a, like a four cup measure and we're just gonna start cubing up our bread and then putting it in there. Once we reach four cups, hey, we're done. We toss in the bowl. I mean, approximately, if they're a bit bigger, I like mine a bit chunkier than half inch, then cut them a bit bigger. It's not, you know, a game changer or anything, right? So with this, it's really easy having a focaccia bread because then I just take it, cut into some strips here and then just make my cubes. And as you're cutting, we're going to just fill it into that four cup measure. And then once it's full, hey, we move on to the next step. Really simple, right? And I just wanted to cut this with you just to show you and also talk to you about how easy it is to make croutons. I mean, it's one of the simplest things ever because you just pull out whatever bread you have, you throw in a bowl with a bunch of, a uh, little bit of oil, and some herbs and seasonings and throw in the oven for 12 minutes. I want you guys to think of that next time you're at the grocery store and you're buying a bag of pre-made croutons and when you can just easily make your own. And all we're gonna do because it's such a small amount is we're going to put it on a small tray. I mean, if you have a big tray, it doesn't really matter. If you're doing it in a big oven or toaster oven, doesn't matter. But I wanna show you a trick. Here's a pro tip for you. If I'm making croutons and I'm not following a recipe, I just have a bunch of bread, I wanna make into croutons for a big crowd or whatever, and I'm putting it on like a big baking sheet, right? What I'll do is I'll cut the bread, okay? And as I'm cutting the cubes, I put the cubes on the tray because you don't want to overcrowd your baking sheet, whatever you're cooking it on, because you're going to end up like steaming the bread a little bit. You need the spaces around the bread cubes for them to be nice and crispy like croutons should be. So I just keep cutting until I, I've basically almost filled a baking sheet. Then I will take that and dump it in the bowl. And then I will toss it with the oil and stuff. So I know I have exact amount for the baking sheet that I'm going to be putting it on, right? Understand? This recipe is already done for you. It's a small amount. So whether you have a toaster oven tray or a big tray, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to be too crowded. Let's take our four cups now and put it in a bowl. It's just easier to toss it in a bowl than trying to toss it on the tray. And to that, we're just gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. And all I do is I just drizzle it around there. I mean, we're gonna be tossing it anyway, but this sort of gives it a head start to make sure that most of the bread cubes get some of the oil, okay? We're gonna go with our next four ingredients after that, which is the one teaspoon of basil, dry basil, one teaspoon dry oregano, half teaspoon of salt, and one quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Got my oven preheated and just mixing those up. And you're just basically shaking them all over the cubes. Again, we're gonna be tossing them, but this gives it a head, head start again, as to make sure that they're all seasoned. They get some of the seasoning and the spices and the herbs and all that stuff on there. All that jazz, right? Shake them, shake them, shake them all over. And then really simple, just get in there with your hands and move them around, toss them. So they get thoroughly, thoroughly coated, okay? You're gonna notice a bunch of ingredients. You can see if I can show this to you. A bunch of ingredients sort of stuck in the bottom of the bowl, right? So what I do at the end, after I've tossed them, okay, I just take the bread and I mop up what's there by giving them a little press and mopping them up, okay? Then I take the bowl, dump it on the tray, and look, there's barely anything left in the bowl. And I have my toaster oven ready to go. Pop it in there 400 degrees. If you're doing convection, then I would say 375. Total of 12 minutes approximately, but we're going to toss them halfway through at six minutes. So I set a six minute timer. I'll show you what they look like at the six minute mark. We'll toss them around and we'll put them in for up to another six minutes. But basically you're just looking for them to get nice and toasty, okay? And they'll be really, really flavorful. If you are making these croutons to have as a snack and you're... <laughs> honestly, they're that good. And you're just going to eat them on their own. I would go a little bit less salt. Okay. So the half teaspoon of salt 
honestly, they're going to taste a bit salty on their own, but it's going to be a good final seasoning for our Caesar salads. Okay, so here they are. I mean, they're looking like they're a little bit toasty. So all we're going to do is just take them, flip them around a little bit, move them around in the pan, maybe some of the outer edge. You don't have to be too particular and put those back in our 400 degree oven for another six minutes. Up to another six minutes because I want you to keep an eye on them. Maybe your oven's running hot. Maybe your 400 degree oven is hotter than my 400 degree oven. And just keep an eye on them. Maybe set it for another four, check it. Or three and then check it. You can always put it back in, right? And we're just looking for them to be toasty. And I'll show you mine in another six minutes when they come out. I know mine are going to be fine. I'm going to show you these. Oh, yeah. Look at those babies. Yeah. Nice croutons. You can tell. Nice and golden brown and toasty. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these aside in the pan. Let them chill. And they're just going to get nice and crispy as they sit there. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>